Our next speaker is again from Norway, Inez Isabel Arneson. Uh, like Sagarika, she too lost her children and won them back. Yes. And her story was covered by uh, yeah. BBC World. And she's here to tell it to you. Well, you told me to be short, so I will just say that um, I was accused of violence and I had to uh, fight for my children. And it took almost five years before all the children were returned. Um, you know, the feed feedback I, I want to give is really in regards to the movie because I got lots of feedback yesterday from both immigrant families and from Norwegians who said that this movie really captured how it is to, to stand against the um, CPS. And I have two points that are, I think is important to convey in regards to, to what needs to be done. Uh, we are talking about a flawed system. Parents are provided legal representation with, with free legal representation. And that sounds great, but it's not. The lawyer is limited in hours and the payment is fixed. So if a lawyer has to set in more hours in order to prepare, they are not comp compensated. The lawyer uh, for the, um, the lawyer who represents the child protection system have no limitations in hours and they are, you know, they can, they can write the fee that they want for their job. And that is um, the working conditions for the lawyers representing the parents have to improve because it jeopardizes families' legal certainty and also jeopardizes basic human rights. So that is um, one thing that has to be um, uh, changed in the system. There is also another thing that needs to be addressed and that is um, in the BBC documentary, I was talking about the lack of transparency. There is only the state administrator where the parents can complain if they feel that things are, are handled uh, wrong by the CPS, but there is not a system in itself that monitors all the different uh, CPS offices and all the, all the um, cases that they have. And that is something that needs to, to, uh, to come in place in order to, to make sure that there is transparency and that you know, the CPS gets all the help they need in order to, to, to ensure that they do all the jobs that they are supposed to, especially in regards to, to ensuring that reunification can be done. Um, after my case, and after I was vindicated in court and kids have been returned, I have been working as a cultural mediator. I see that, uh, you know, there are great difficulties for, for, for parents uh, to understand the system, but there is also huge difficulties for, for the case workers to understand the parents also, because they, they lack knowledge of, of, in regards to the cultures that the different parents come from. So, you know, that has to, that has to change also. So, and uh, take for instance, uh, you might have an interpreter attend a meeting and that is good, but later on you might get the minutes from that meeting and that is written in Norwegian and provides, there provides no interpretation or anything in regards to understanding what you are receiving in your documents. That also has to change. So, well, I tried to be quick and give the points that I thought were important so that you can go to the next person and, and, and um, have them present what they are supposed to present. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank letting you, me Vivian. take part.